Hey, sorry guys. I got messed up there, got off. Um, so I was just going to redo this video from the beginning. Anyway, hope everybody had a great night. Um, good weekend. Getting get, Looking forward to, you know, another great college football Saturday. Um, but the uh, video about that I was making was about, I say all these things all the time. You know, do you miss President Obama and blah, blah, blah. You know, and I keep saying these things about impeach Trump. Um, and they're laying out, um, you know, all these different things, you know. Well, I hate to break it to you, but the only way you can impeach a president up under the Constitution is if they have committed high crimes and misdemeanors. Now, not only has President Trump not been charged with a high crime or misdemeanor, he has not even been accused of one. Um, I guess they may be trying to link something with this Russian thing, um, you know, this Russian collusion, um, which I think is just a total witch hunt. I mean, even the executive producer of CNN said that, uh, uh, said that it was a witch hunt or said that he, there was no smoking gun. There was nothing tying him to it. Um, you know, so he understood why the president's been witch hunted. Uh, was the Trump campaign probably talking with the Russians? Uh, yeah. I mean, there was probably things that was going on, you know. I got some dirt on your candidate, blah, blah, blah. But see, at the same time, Clinton officials were also supposedly meeting with people from Crimea. But see, you never get told these things. And so this whole Russian collusion thing, I mean, I'm not going to say there weren't meetings to take place or there wasn't, you know, some conversations, but there was nothing there. And, you know, they talk about these Facebook and Twitter things now. Well, these, these things were really not pro-Trump and there really was uh, pro Hillary. Um, there was they was all over the place. The next thing is, is what would the Russians have to gain by colluding with the Trump campaign to get him elected president? I mean, are they going to try to make the case because Trump's bank ties with Russia and his loans? Well, I'm sure Trump has ties and loans to everything, to every country out there in the world. So this whole Russian collusion thing is, um, I mean. There's just nothing to that. So, um, after 10 months of investigation, you would think that they would have found something by now that would have tied President Trump directly to Russian collusion. Um, and they haven't. I mean, and, and there's not nothing there. I mean, if you're kidding yourself if you think Trump told his campaign, "Hey, go out, collude with the Russians to win this to win this race." I mean, that's just ludicrous. Now, was the Russians trying to interfere with our race? Um, yeah. Um, now, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know exactly. Um, you know, it, like I said, the, the Facebook and Twitter ads were either pro Trump or pro Hillary. But I mean, like I said, uh, you know, what would the Russians really have to gain now? The other thing I'd like to point out is, um, do we not inf interfere in other people's elections? I mean, I'm, I'm, by no means am I trying to defend this, but I'm saying that, that, you know, this is something our country's done all the time that we've stolen elections, you know, throughout history. Um, you know, black ops has always taken on. Um, uh, but, you know, by this time during the Watergate administration, I mean, you pretty much had, or Watergate scandal, I mean, you pretty much had you know, Nixon buried to the wall where you knew it was just going to come out. Um, these supposed meeting with Kushner and some lawyer up there, I mean, that supposedly had ties to Putin, uh, you know, a, what was a 20 minute meeting they walked out of? Um, um, you know, Manafort, now Manafort shady as hell anyway. I mean, but, uh, you know, and then I would like to ask the people, well, what were they talking about, about how they was going to do it? And then the other argument that is so ludicrous to me is they say that they had dirt on Hillary Clinton. All right, the Clintons have been around since, what, the late 70s in Arkansas? Wasn't he elected governor in 78 the first time? They got, maybe it was 76, got beat in 78 and re-elected in 80. Yeah, I think it was. He got elected in 76, beat in 78, re-elected in 80, and served until 92 or vice versa, or maybe it was 
78 and 80. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there. So the Clintons have been around for a really long time. All right. Um, who is Tarbes' governor? His two-term presidency. Or her um, two terms, which she didn't actually full serve two full terms, because she went on to, went on to be President Obama's um, Secretary of State. Um, but anyway, as a senator and then two-time presidential candidate, everybody already knew all the dirt on the Clintons. Okay, I mean it's been out there for years. I mean we know the Clintons have a shady side. Of course, most politicians don't. Um, um, I mean, there's been a few. I mean, I really think Clinton cared about the true average Joe. I mean, I really did, and I think Hillary did too. But the Clintons, like most people, are out there when they run for president to get rich. I mean, look how much money the Clintons are going to make out there. I really don't think Obama ready to get to get rich. I mean, because you know, Obama was just. Um, you know, fresh face, exciting guy, um, great speaker. Uh, but we all know he's going to get wealthy. I mean, you know, when this guy writes his memoirs about being the first African-American president we've ever had, this guy's going to make, I mean, there's no telling how much that book's going to sell for. Um, so, I mean, I don't, I don't really know, I mean, if Obama was out to get rich or not. That's neither here nor there. Of course, most of our presidents are already wealthy anyway when they come into office. I mean, you look at how much the Bushes were worth and the Reagan had money. And, you know, most poor people don't make it to the presidency. I mean, Clinton was dirt poor. Uh, Carter really didn't have money. You know, he was a peanut farmer. And, of course, uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh, I think he had, what, a, was it a second grade education or a sixth grade education? I mean, he came just from dirt poor and became president. So, yeah, it is, po it is possible to become president in this country <coughs> from being poor. But usually it's the elite and the um, wealthy to become. You know, two examples that probably wasn't. You know, Clinton wasn't an elitist at that time. And I don't see, I don't think Obama was an elitist either by any means. Um, I Never got that impression of him. Even Reagan, I didn't think Reagan was an elitist. Um, his wife was. Uh, Nancy, obviously. Um, um, sorry, guys, I got off top there. But um, the, I remember when I was going to this, Trump is actually, and if it was going to say this, is the craziest thing I've ever heard, but Trump, was, Trump is actually not an elitist. Because back in the 80s when Trump was you know, making this stuff, you know, Trump was not part of high society in, um, New York city. You know, a lot of people didn't go to his parties. You know, he was not considered the upper echelon. That's how when Trump ran for president, he honed that message and you've got a, he got the nickname, the blue collar billionaire. Um, and you know, he connected with a lot of people with this populist message. Um, you know, that ended up winning the presidency. But anyway, I got so totally off track there, guys, and I'm really sorry. Um, the point I was going to try to make is, is there was no Russian collusion. I mean, the Russians and Trump did not, did not work together to defeat Hillary Clinton. And, um, that's just, I mean, that's just, I, I can't even believe people buy into some of that and you know and the CEO of CNN that's not like he wants them to stay on is Russia because their ratings are so high and they said you know ratings are just out the roof right now with all these ratings and you know but anyway the original point that I was making when I got on here tonight is um you know I see all these things about impeach President Trump now vote to impeach him well like I said, the Constitution says the only way that you can be impeached is if you commit high crimes and misdemeanors. And not only has President Trump not been charged with a high crime or misdemeanor, he has also 
not even been accused of it. Um, um, you know, they want him to say something about him firing Kami during the investigation. Uh, was that obstruction of justice? I, 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 yeah, I don't know the whole reason behind firing Kami, but I mean, you know, the Senate and Congress has been investigating this 10 months, and they actually really want to close it down I mean, from things I was reading today. Because they, I mean, I forgot exactly how they worded it about basically how they're still trying to find collusion. And, um, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. But the point I was trying to make is, guys, is um, after almost a year now, something would have been found. A smoking gun would have dropped. President Trump is not going to be impeached, especially not by Republican Congress. And he's not going to be. Um, uh, voted out um, you know they should just go ahead and wrap this thing up and for the people who dislike Trump and I know there's many of you out there I promise you you would rather have uh, Trump in there than Mike Pence uh, you know he's almost like Roy Moore of Alabama I mean these guys are religious zealots and 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 uh, don't get me wrong i respect everybody's right to uh to worship how they feel and to believe in their god but when these people start passing judgment on others you know that's not what the bible says um you know so pence is really not a guy that we want in there this guy is really really scary uh he's as scary as more i don't even know why he picked pence i mean trump was running as the um Drain the swamp guy. Uh, Washington is broke. It's not working for you. You know, let's go up there and blow the thing up. So I, th I thought Pence was kind of an odd choice. I would have went after some kind of like maybe a retired general or retired admiral. Um, you know, maybe... Um, so, you know, some kind of off the, um, you know, outside the box choice. Uh, I, I would like to say a mayor of a large city, but most mayors of large cities are um, Democrats. And uh, so it would have been hard for him to really find something like that. Um, um, you know, but again, I got off topic. Um, sorry, guys, you know, I ramble sometimes on these things. And I hope I don't bore you with it. I just, when I start talking politics, it's a passion of mine. And um, I love it. Um, but anyway, the, the point that I was just, and I'll finish up with this right here because I don't like sound like I beat a dead horse. Um, President Trump's not going anywhere. So it's time to just wrap this thing up. And so we can move on because it's just another divisive issue. And we have way too many things that are divisive right now. We have a lot of bigger, bigger fish to fry in this country. Um, so just, um, and I know um, a lot of y'all are, are worried about it, but just relax, guys. Everything's going to be okay. You know, he's not going to run in the ground. You know, some of the stuff he says, he's just playing to his base to get reelected. So just basically just get that out of your head trump's not going anywhere he will be there to the end of his term he's not getting impeached they have no grounds for impeachment and they're not going to have any um anyway that was just my thoughts on these petitions trying to get people to sign to impeach trump and uh the russian collusion i would like to go into the russian collusion uh, a little bit more at a later time really touch on manafort and kushner and Donald Trump's juniors, but that's a whole segment for another time. Um, but anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching the video tonight. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, and uh, I will see y'all again soon. Um, good night, guys.